In this video, we'll use the paste in place function. When you make a group, you need to open the group's editing box to put new things inside it. Now, it's easy to forget to do that and instead select items, move them inside or what you think are inside the group, but they're really not because loose geometry and other groups can occupy the same space. So if you've spent a lot of time arranging furniture, for instance, or making structural changes, or making new things for the walls, like this mirror I'm doing here, all of that will be outside the group. And you probably won't discover that until you try moving it all and you see that just the original group moves. Now sure, you could select everything and move it together, but you might want it all in the group for organizational purposes. So this is where the paste in place function right there comes in. What you should do is select all the items that are outside the group that you want to be in it, and then go to Edit Cut. Open the group's editing box, then go to Edit Paste in Place, and they'll all come back in the exact same spot. But now they're in the group, as you can see when you move it around.